AMM 112L uh, Denim Jeans Demo Part 1, the front and back shape. Okay, so in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to do your denim jeans front and back uh, for female, and I'll give you some pointers as we go along for the male as well. Um, so first thing, make sure that you go ahead and go under File and Place and select the croquis. In this case, since most of you end up doing the female uh, denim uh, jeans, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the female. Uh, select place and uh, your croquis will be placed on your artboard. And uh, make sure that you um, have any necessary uh, guidelines. For example, I know I need my vertical guidelines, so I'm going to select view and select show rulers. I'm going to go ahead and drag my ruler. Now notice how I zoomed in to make sure that my guideline will be right in the middle of this shorter um, guideline for my croquis. Um, if you need any horizontal guidelines, you can add those uh, here as well. So I'm going to do one where the top of my jeans are going to go. Um, this is a natural waist and that would be high rise, so those are high waisted jeans and that's not what um, I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back right below that. Um, also, where I'm going to end my jeans, so uh, this is the ankle, so right below the ankle, right around the heel, I don't want them too long. If I go below that, that will be too long. And I'm going to make sure that my uh, layers panel is open, and um, I already named it Crokey. If you haven't, you can name your layer, and I'm going to lock it, and basically I'm ready to add a new layer, and this is where my shape or silhouette is going to go. I'm going to make sure that I have no fill and just a uh, black stroke. And I'm going to zoom in since we're just doing jeans, we're doing pants, we don't need the upper torso, we just need the back, the, the bottom part. I want to zoom in a little bit more so I can get started. Um, I recommend doing a one, str one point uh, stroke uh, for your silhouette shape so it's not too bulky. And you're going to start at the very middle and work your way out. Um, since most of your jeans are really fitted, and I'm so sorry, I just realized that is way too thick. Five points, well that's why. One point. And um, it's going to be somewhat fitted, most of your jeans are fitted, but it's not going to be skin tight. And we want to make sure this looks like jeans, not like a pair of leggings. The next point should be a little bit below the fullest part of the hip. I'm going to drag. Click on your last point. Problems up about there. Click and drag. Click on your last point. I'm going to get to the fullest, fullest, fullest part of the calf, and I'm pretty much going to keep it almost straight. Click on your last point. So zoom out a little bit and make sure that you're happy with the shape. Uh, you can always uh, click off the croquis. Now see how I have this kind of sharp point? I kind of don't like that. So I can go, I can select it and go with my smooth tool behind the pencil tool and smooth that out. That looks better. It shouldn't look like a well-defined leg because then it looks like a legging. But this is almost pretty much almost a straight leg pant, slim fit, but not ridiculously ultra skinny. Once you're happy with the shape, then you can go ahead and as we've done previously with all your other garments, you're going to reflect. So how you do that is you're going to get your wide arrow, select your first and last point, right click and average on the vertical axis, click OK, and then you're going to go ahead with the black arrow, select um, your half, go under the rotate tool and select reflect, put the bullet right in the middle. Now it has to be between your first and last point, so you can't put it anywhere down here, it has to be right between here and here. I'm going to put it right here in the middle, click right above it, a little off to the left, swing it around, press shift to lock it into place, press alt to make the copy, release the mouse, release the keyboard. Now remember it's still two halves, okay? 
You need to make sure you join him to make one because you're going to later be doing a clipping mask. So I'm going to go ahead with the white arrow, draw a box around these top two points, right click, average on both, vertical and horizontal, click OK, right click, join. Now mine says corner, you have CS6, it will not say corner, but if you have CS, I think 5 and earlier, it'll say corner or smooth. If you have an earlier version, just select corner and click OK. But if you have CS6, it shouldn't ask that. Do, we do the same thing with the bottom, so you're going to right click, average, on both the vertical and the horizontal, then right click and join. And then to check to make sure that you have an enclosed silhouette, click on just one segment and the whole thing should be highlighted. You can click on the eyeball so you can see. And that is your front view uh, shape of your jeans. And very easily for the back, you just will press Alt, make a copy, and that's your back as well. Okay, so you now have your front and you have your back. Okay. And for the next tutorial, we will be discussing the details that go in the front. Okay? Thank you.